Well, hey everyone. Episode 8, Wake Up With Wyatt. I'm barely woke up as of now. <sighs> Been trying to think of what to talk about. Um, yesterday my parents came over. Um, they usually come up and visit once a week. It's about a 40 minute drive for them. Um, we hung out and uh, I made chicken thighs. I usually cook for them whenever they come. I'm big into cooking since that's what I do for a living. Um, I made chicken thighs and I made, uh, I cooked down some uh, onions and pepper, or onions and mushrooms till they were caramelized. And there we go. I turned myself off the Wi-Fi. Anyways, put some uh, white wine and uh, uh, chicken broth in there and let it cook down for a good while. So we had mushrooms with chicken. Anyways, um, is delicious. And then we were outside and. Uh, we didn't have any more swimmers for riding, so we just put him in a pair of underwear <laughs> to go outside and play around in a pool. We've got a tiny kitty pool. Anyways, uh, so we get him out there, and actually we're inside still, and he pees on the floor through his underwear. So, changed his underwear, put him in another pair went outside he peed through that one he I guess he chugged like a ton of, of water so he was naked for like 30 minutes outside running around being a boy naked why uh, me and Brandy and uh, my parents sat out there and kept an eye on him while he's just running around being a boy he reminds me so much of me kid is me. It's crazy. <laughs> From whenever he wakes up till he goes to sleep, he never stops. Uh, he's super empathetic. Oh my gosh. He hugged a dead bee yesterday. <laughs> if that tells you anything. Uh, he cried over a dead bird. Literally tears. Because there was a dead bird. We have five cats, so it's hard to tell what happened. Uh, it's uh, it's something though. He's uh, he's pretty special. To all you non dads out there, being a dad is the most amazing thing, hands down, in the universe. I thought I knew. I thought I knew even with a stepson, but I had no idea till till an actual son. There's a uh, helicopter. We have a hospital like right down the way. So we always have helicopters flying over us, like, all the time. <sighs> Ryden, he loves the, the helicopters and the and planes. And the moon. He can spot the moon in broad daylight, no time. Anyways, I'm just, like, kind of gloating, talking about my boy, but... He's my life, so... And, uh... Uh, let's see. Today's a full day of work. And it'll definitely be a full day of work. We've got this giant group of people. Um, I'm not sure what sort of... I think they remind me of my buddy Kofi. Kofi, I feel like <laughs> I have a lot of Ganyans. <laughs> at Nelson, but I don't think they're Ganyans. They definitely don't speak English. I'm not sure, bud. Anyways, um, 
I fed like 500 of them yesterday, very big church goers. Uh, they were interesting characters. They were very uh, <laughs> pushy about their food, but uh, all in a day's work, you know, it's it's really no big deal to me. It's just another day. So, I'm trying to be a little bit more personable. I feel like I'm all monotone, but I, I'm i kind of funny sometimes. I say really stupid dad jokes. I make people laugh, so that's what I'm wanting to go more towards and not talk about business all the time. Um, it's not all about business. It's everything that surrounds the business, you know. Eventually, I'll talk about that, the work in between. Somebody is watching. I'm surprised they're awake. Oh, hey, Bart. I'm not sure if I've, I think I have spoke to you. Um, but I want to thank you all for checking me out. I'll be here again um, tomorrow morning, like always to talk about nonsensical things. So, if you've watched me since episode one, thank you very much. Muhammad, I'm sure you have, because you've watched everything that I do. Uh, he's good buddy. Uh, okay, so you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time.